Hi. Um, we're in the process, this is just for today, part of it. Um, we're in the process of moving Emmy up. We've got her shaped into the personality we want. Uh, she's, she's going to be a service dog. So we've got her shaped into a trusting, um, intelligent, happy, um, confident, happy-go-lucky dog. She's the perfect stage right now. She, she's just at the perfect shape to begin her actual formal training. When I work with a, a puppy, my own puppies, or if I'm going to have one for quite a while, I don't do a lot of training when they're young. I work more on shaping personality. Now, we need, in a service dog, we need a dog that's confident, that can work even with other people around, other dogs around, is not obsessed with trying to see everybody. This dog is not played with dogs. This dog sees her fun as with humans. Um, she's not been spent a lot of time as a pet. Her fun is coming out of the kennel and working. She is housebroke, so she's been up there enough to be housebroke. But she's confident. I don't have to worry. She's, she's come on. Hey, you. Come here. Come on, Em. Good. Good job. She's a, got a good self image of herself. She doesn't jump. So we have we have set some behaviors in her. Um, no jumping unless she's invited up. Um, she's not to be rough with people. She's not to be rude. She doesn't use her mouth on people. She's curious about things. She's confidently willing to walk up, check it out, and then leave it alone. Her focus is on being with me, not seeing other people. Em, come on. Hey. Come on, Emmy. Good girl. This is the most important part of raising a puppy. The behaviors are just behaviors. You can teach most training exercises, you can teach them in three repetitions. It doesn't mean they're good at it in three repetitions. It just means they can be taught. Come on, babe. So training is just training. It's just teaching the dog to associate a word with a behavior. Confidence is something that you can't teach. You have to condition. Hi, baby. Come here. Respect for the end of a lead is something she's lived with from day one. Standing polite, no mouth. Hey, thank you. Good girl. That's all the correction she needs. She will use her mouth. When she picks things up, so I'm not going to get really ugly about it. Good job. She's happy, she's confident, she has absolutely no issues with being out in the public. Uh oh, what is that? She's observant, she notices things. Good girl. And she just makes you smile to look at. This is a kid that's never had an accidental lesson in her life. She's never been put in a situation where somebody's treated her badly or a dog has treated her badly. Easy. Emmy, come on. Hey, come on. Emmy, come on. Good girl. Hi. Easy. Easy. You, easy. This is difficult for a puppy. Good, easy. She's done this tied to the wall. This is pretty scary. Paul. Good. This is very scary because now people are coming up from behind her. Okay, as a survivor, how much confidence does it take to leave your back exposed? A lot. This dog, to someone who's feeling worried, is in a position to block my back. Forward. <laughs> but Guinness has learned, well all my dogs have learned, uh, the word to back, and for mine, they learn Guinness, come here, back, back, that was really bad, Not get back, 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 they also learn a different back, back, Back up. I just want to 
trying to get back out of my way. It comes in really handy sometimes. If uh, he's acting stupid and I have my hands full, you get back, back, back. And if, I'm, if I were like in a store somewhere, and I'm saying, and then I'm like, move backwards, I can get this, get back. Like that. So, uh, the only time he really needs to back up in a line like that was when I was showing him. But if I were in my wheelchair, or kind of walker, and then somewhere, get this, get back. 